Good evening, how are you tonight? It's another Tuesday night, and uh, time for some music. A lot of people in the studio tonight, in ultrasonic studios in Hempstead. Yeah, where's my... Lights are about to dim down. Four young men have joined us tonight uh, to play some music that spans, I guess, a pretty wide history in music for all of them. Five years. Five, five years, years. music. It's, uh, it goes back, I know, Michael Kamen uh, at the keyboards, oboe, I see a synthesizer. We can hear some nice things from that tonight. Um, you were the rock and roll ensemble. Uh, me? What happened to that? You what? all four. Oh, we were the rock and roll ensemble. And now it's the New York rock ensemble. Yeah, well, we were recording for Atco Records for three years, and then we went over to Columbia Records, and at, when we were with Atco, there were five people in the group, and one of them left to the Columbia, which was uh, about two and a half years ago, and Clive Davis from Columbia suggested that we shorten the name so we wouldn't scare people in Kansas <laughs> because he said the name was too long. <laughs> Record sales good in Kansas this year? Oh, fuck. People in Kansas will stay you. Everyone else does. We can go through and introduce the group first. There's a, I always thought there was a lot more people than this <coughs> in the New York Rock not Ensemble. Here. Michael Kamen, as I said, on the keyboards, vocals, synthesizer, uh, plays an oboe. Dorian Rudnitsky is on bass and uh, cello, not at the same time, I take it. Switch back and forth. Cliff Niveson is on uh, guitar and vocals, and Marty Fulton plays the drums and the oboe. And uh, Chinese Gong? Yes. James Coburn plays one of those, you know? He's fascinating. Time for some music from WLIR's live concerts. Ultrasonic Studios in Hempstead. This is the New York Rock Ensemble. Like 
drifting sand I'm gonna do a song that's uh, it's on our new Freedom Burger album. It's called Kiss Your Future. Future.
<coughs> Thank you. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hello. This next tune is called Carry Me Up, and it's also from the new album. The blood of the city runs through my veins While the songs of the forest are filling my brain Uptown and downtown I search for some peace My poor soul is poisoned I think you may know this one. This is uh, called The Gravedigger. You know all those cemeteries that you pass coming into Queens from um, Manhattan on the 59th Street Bridge, I, maybe it is, or the Grand Central? You've seen all those cemeteries. This song was um, born in one. <laughs> it's a sort of love song about something called necrophilia. 
name of the song is The Grave Digger.
Five years ago, we came here. It wasn't quite here. It was across the street at the old ultrasonic studio with Shadow Morton and John Lindy and Bill Stahl and people who were there, some of the people who are here now. And we made an album, which we're, I think we're talking a lot about albums tomorrow. But it was uh, five years ago, I guess, that we did it. It was our first album. And there was a song on it that Cliff wrote called Mr. Tree. We really haven't done it in a very long time. <coughs> Makes some sense. What are we doing? I think they're changing a tape inside. Mr. Tree, do you remember me? I used to sit on your knee, Mr. Tree. Long, long ago, we used to play in the snow, you know. We would bend when the wind would blow, Mr. 
Tell us to stop before we finish playing. We've very much enjoyed this. Although it's a little weird playing in a studio when you're so used to everybody being so quiet and it's, everybody's enjoying themselves. And you, you can just do whatever you want now, you know? Alright? This is a song called Running Down the Highway. 